So here is um, a topic that I have talked about before, but this this question makes it very personal, and 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 I think it might be a way of helping others come to their um, own understanding of what I'm talking about. As a child, I recall getting up in the middle of the night and found my dad happened to be awake with a headache that night. He asked where I was going, and I replied, I want to go home. I remember this. I didn't know where home was, but I wanted to go there now. I never felt I fit in. You had a child, challenging childhood, too, I've heard. But sh surely children aren't thinking these negative thoughts, are they? What am I missing? Do you feel like you never fit in? Are you one of those people who feels like they want to go home and yet they are home? Are you one of these people as a child who quite literally found animals more comforting than people? Are you one of these people who who understand what the world is supposed to feel like, but it just doesn't? There's an influx of people over the past many years, probably five, six decades, <coughs> who've been coming in feeling this way. I know this because I talk to them on a regular basis. Humanity is at a point of raising our level of consciousness. We're at a point of bringing heaven to earth. And I don't want to, I don't want to get mysterious or esoteric about that. We are becoming a more loving race. Some people vibrate more loving than others. Some people, when they come in as a child, have that vibration very, very much in them. And they feel separate and alone. Feeling separate and alone, they often find, you know, they're looking for unconditional love and they end up in a very conditionally loving situation. You know, sometimes abuse, sometimes, you know, just, you know, and abuse can come in many forms. You know, there's the, the worst, of course, you know, physical and sexual abuse, and then there's there's manipulative abuse, there's, there's uh, emotional abuse, there's all kinds of abuse. But, they, but those abuses come from conditional love. I'm a firm believer that as humanity is shifting, there's a wave of people coming in that are have shifted some already. And they come here and it doesn't feel right. And they're like on the they're like the first wave of people coming into the world that are vibrating a little higher, that are feeling that love a little, little bit that have a thinner veil of fear. They have less fear. And when they have less fear, they're given things to be fearful for because they're, 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 the physical world is trying to slap a veil back on them. And they want to go home. Where's home? Home is the other side. Home is, home is the source. Home is God. Right? They want to go back to where it's unconditionally loving. They want to go back to a place of pure joy, love, and bliss. Right, they want to go back to that space, but they're here, bringing that 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 thinner veil here. And as people come here with that thinner veil, more people come with that thinner veil, and the next generation after them will come in with a thinner veil. And this humanity is shifting, and I can tell you this from experience because fifteen years ago, when I was out speaking about my past life and and, and teaching. No one could hear it. No one could. No one heard the truth in what I was saying. And now I get letters every day about the truth of what the, what they're hearing. Now I get letters every day about the experience in their life that is is joyful and loving and caring. You know. Now I I get letters every day saying thank you because what you're saying rings true to me, right? And I'm appreciative of the fact that. They're listening to themselves. They're hearing something and it rings true. And they're saying it vibrates or it resonates. It resonates with me. 
they're 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 tapping into what they believe already you know i'm the words that i use just are just reminders they already know this we all already know what i'm talking about but we wrap other things around it we do all these other things and someone like someone who comes here with with a thinner veil they're very empathic because they feel the negativity and the fears and the anxieties in the world because they're very because they're feeling it they have that that empathic feeling and then they go to an animal and the animal is is unconditionally loving and it feels great to be around them so they feel that so they gravitate to animals right the idea uh, of a child quote unquote wanting to go home when they already are makes perfect sense to me but i also think it's it's part of our evolution that, that you're here that they're here it's part of our evolution that we're shifting to a more loving world and you are you are a representation of the change you're a representation of love coming here you're a representation of this source of god bringing that feeling of god to this physical reality now that's the easy way to say bringing heaven to earth right the world is becoming more loving and you're a part of it and thank you for that because it's important have a great day and i'll talk to you soon see ya bye thank you my friends for watching this video if you enjoyed it please make sure that you've subscribed and you like it you share it but also comment below it let's get this community talking about these topics and and spreading this information out far and wide so that we can change the world for the better thank you